A nine-year-old girl is safe tonight after sheriff's deputies found her living in a shed with her father and another woman. It happened in Lakeside, California, right near San Diego. Investigators say they found guns and drugs. They tell our Scripps sister station in San Diego the shed did not have any bathrooms and call the shed, quote, uninhabitable. The nine-year-old girl was taken into protective custody. All new tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 11. It was this time last year when Laura Rufino lost her best friend, Elizabeth Diamond, to brain cancer. After Diamond's death, Laura promised she would take in her four young daughters. One year later, the Orchard Park family is still trying to adjust to changing their family of four to a family of eight. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson tells us, they're getting a lot of help from such a supportive community. It was, uh, it was just absolutely crazy. It was like a circus all the time. Rico Rufino says his life hasn't been the same since that warm day in July of 2015. It was that day 7 Eyewitness News brought you into the Rufino Diamond home. In 2014, Laura Rufino made a promise to her dying friend, Elizabeth Diamond, to care for her four daughters like her own. A year later, Diamond lost her battle with brain cancer and her promise became a reality. <laughs> Okay. Today, two families have become one. The Rufino family still embracing a new normal. For me, most importantly, is that we have had our first. So I feel like we've gone through everything once. We've gone through our first Christmas, our first birthdays, and all of our first holidays. The family has also marked another milestone, the anniversary of Diamond's passing. Talking about it, you know, it is very emotional because we all miss Liz. And I worry about the girls all the time. So so, but I, I don't mean to be emotional because the big picture is things are great. After our story aired, the family was bombarded with media attention. Outlets from around the world ventured to Orchard Park to hear the ultimate story of friendship. Everyone from a station in Australia to a recent trip to New York City for a spread in People magazine. And through it all, the family has learned to get through jam-packed days with six very busy girls. You know, it's just the day-to-day -day stuff. The kids are in uh, dance, taekwondo, or kempo. They're in um, gymnastics. You name it, there's an activity. And there is another activity this month, one that will make this all official. Um, I guess some of the bigger things that have happened, besides all the different news stories, you know, it's also um, we're finalizing the adoption. The two say by the end of the month, the adoption paper should be signed. A happy ending for the Rufino family. And this family says they are extremely appreciative for the way the community stepped up since our stories ran. They said that the communities really rallied around these girls, but they still have a long journey ahead. So there is an active GoFundMe page, and I'll attach a link to um, this story after the newscast. You know, it really is heartwarming to know that these girls went from one loving family, one loving home to another. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Thank you for the update on their story, Sierra.